Hi there, Alberto Savoia here for another quick bite on uh, Apex Innovation. Today we're going to talk about the Apex Innovation uh, budget. Now, you will remember this very, very important concept. I always say innovation is experimentation. You cannot innovate without experimenting. And if you want to be an Apex Innovator, you have to experiment a lot. So remember, innovation is experimentation. Repeat after me. Excellent. So if you are, say, a pretty large and successful company, uh, you may have, uh, you have an R&D department. So in R&D department, you have your research, your, your development, and between the R and the D, there is this little ampersand, which people tend to kind of ignore, but I thought I'm gonna use this ampersand and give it a specific meaning, because this is exactly where it fits. You do research, you do a lot of experimentation, and then you develop the successful experiment. So let's talk about how the budget should be allocated. So I'm using here a fictional company that has a billion dollar in R&D budget. There's a lot of companies that have a lot <laughs> uh, more, but we'll use this because it's a nice even number. So in a typical company, uh, and definitely the companies I've uh, worked with, if you take an R&D budget, typically they spend around 10% or you know high single digits in uh, research, and most of it goes in development. So in research, you come up with new fundamental um, uh, tools, techniques, uh, materials, etc., etc., and development is where you actually develop products, right, that go into the public. So if you have a billion dollar uh, budget, typically you have uh, allocate $100 million for research and say $900 million for the actual development, which includes the maintenance, uh, the translation, the security, or the quality assurance, all of that stuff. So what about the experimentation? Well, here's the good news. This part of the budget can be very small. In fact, it can be uh, as little as 0.1% of your total R&D budget. It's a small number, you can handle it, right? So don't come to me giving me an excuse we don't have the budget because all it takes to be an Apex Innovator is to experiment a lot and that experimentation is very quick and very expensive if you do it the way I teach you, right? So you take 0.1% of, uh, of uh, $1 billion is $1 million. And then you ask yourself, well, Alberto, how many experiments can I do with $100 million? A lot. You know, I would say in the range of a thousand. Let's say if you spend a thousand dollars per experiment, which by the way is a lot, right? Most of the companies I work with, they learn how to do experiments for just a few hundred dollars and very, very quickly. But let's assume you use a thousand dollars per experiment. So you have a million dollar divided by a thousand dollars, means that in a year, uh, with a budget of one billion dollar for R&D a year, you can do about a thousand experiment. Guess what? That's a lot of experiments, right? Now remember, experimentation, is innovation. So if you do an ex a thousand experiment, I can pretty much guarantee you, you're going to find some killer uh, uh, successful ideas that are going to be breakthrough and that's going to make you an apex innovator. So remember, the key is innovation is experimentation and to be an apex innovator, you have to do a lot of experiments and you don't need a lot of budget to do that. I fully understand that you need to spend a lot of money to develop the ideas. Uh, research is expensive, but Experimentation is the cheapest thing you can do, but the most important thing that you can do. So remember the ampersand between, between R&D is experimentation. It's very important, it's very cheap, and you better do a lot of it, and I will show you how. So this is a quick bite. If you need to know more, you know where to find me. See you later, thanks.